mission at the Museum of Discovery is to ignite a passion for science, technology, and math in a dynamic, interactive environment. Kids don't come to the Museum of Discovery to learn how to do algebra or to learn how to dissect a frog. They come here to be exposed to science, technology, concepts, to get comfortable with those concepts, to say, it's not that intimidating, I can do this. Uh, a study shows that of 20,000 20, 8th graders were asked the question, what do you foresee yourself doing when you're 30? And when you're in 8th grade, you're 13 or 14, and 30 seems light years away. But you know what? 20, when they went back 17 years later, 16, 17 years later, they found out that the 8th the graders who had written down a profession that required the heavy study of science, technology, and math were 3.8 times more likely to be doing that than someone who hadn't. So at the Museum of Discovery, we want to help young people envision themselves in a role that required a lot of science, technology, and math. We want to get them excited with these hands-on exhibits at our museum, have them make the right curriculum choices in high school and then in college so they're prepared to go into those kind of careers. You know, we know that we need to get more Arkansans to graduate from college. I think we'd all also agree we need more of them to graduate with degrees in science, technology, engineering, and math for us to be successful and competitive in the 21st century. Um, that's, at the Museum of Discovery, we're trying to plant that seed, light that spark, ignite that passion to help them see a bright future for themselves, to understand that studying science and math can lead to a great career, a great life for them and their families. In the 21st century economy, almost all jobs require some proficiency in science, technology, and math. It's an IT world, it's a connected world, and no matter where you are or what you're doing, you need to be comfortable with those concepts. And again, that's what we're doing here at the Museum of Discovery. We're getting kids engaged in those subjects, comfortable with those subjects, and envisioning a future for themselves in those kind of fields. Another important thing we're doing at the Museum of Discovery is trying to create an atmosphere where families learn together. We'll see parents and kids. We'll see grandparents and grandkids working together at one of our exhibits, playing together at one of our exhibits. And the goal is they learn together here and they take that learning atmosphere back into the home so that the parents are much more comfortable working with their children on their homework or helping them explore new subjects. One of my favorite things to do at the museum is just to go out on the museum floor and watch people engage with all that we have to do here. You know, besides the 90 hands-on exhibits we have on the three galleries, besides our traveling exhibits, we teach classes. We have theater shows and engineering and awesome science. We have the electric show. It's just great to see people get engaged. And what I really love about working at the Museum of Discovery is I see children having fun and not realizing they're learning while they're having fun. Since No Child Left Behind was enacted, school administrators are evaluated on the benchmark test scores of their students. So understandably, they make sure the curriculum fits what's being tested. Well, there is no benchmark testing for science until a fifth grade. That means in first, second, third, and fourth grade today, 30% less science is being taught than it was before. The Museum of Discovery helps fill that important gap of science education. Oh, I would definitely say that there is an increase in their interest about science because they are seeing how much fun it can be as opposed to sitting down and learning it all day from the teacher who teaches them everything day in, day out. So like, it's just still that awesome opportunity for other people to jump in and show them how science and things really work outside of the classroom. Well, I think the Museum of Discovery is just really awesome in being right here. It's a central location. It's the downtown area where there's a lot of uh, diversity and cultural um, uh, emphasis. They can have all of the science, the hands-on, the fun stuff, the stuff that they say they like, the stuff that makes them say, we love science. And uh, then we get to go back in the classroom and just build on that. And I'm so excited about that. The lessons that we teachers have witnessed here today have been tremendous. The, they're the perfect lessons that give us good ways to demonstrate things and they bring in elements that we try to. Diversity, uh, differentiation, that's asking the uh, simple questions and taking them up to a higher order. And it gives us tools that we can take back, we have learned just as much as the kids have, and I'm so thankful for that. Well, I just want to thank the museum uh, for letting us have the opportunity to come here. They're always so gracious and generous, and I just want them to know how much as a teacher I appreciate them doing this for our school. Everybody knows the Museum of Discovery is fun, but I want to make sure they understand the Museum of Discovery is important. 
We are a critical part of the science, technology, engineering, and math pipeline for education in Arkansas.